Hello everyone, so I'm here for my Spanish lesson uh, with Senor Murray and I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not very good but you've got to start learning somewhere haven't you? Let's go in and see Senor Murray. Hola, Karen, ah. buenos días. Ah. Hola, Muy bien, gracias. Estupendo. Ok, pronunciación, un poco de pronunciación. La letra C, the letter C, y una A o una U se pronuncia como el inglés cat. No se dice sat, se dice ca, ca, como ca, cat. Ok. Ok, yeah. un ejemplo, R repite, Carmen. Carmen. Color. Color. Cueva. Cueva, sí. Pero ojo. Si la segunda letra es una E, which is a, an E, o una I, which is an I, okay. esto es muy difícil. E <laughs> equals E, and E equals I. Okay. No dices, por ejemplo, centro, dices centro. 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 Centro, muy bien. Barcelona. Barcelona, exactamente, muy bien. <laughs> Ask me about that word I just used, that word there. Okay. Uh, Como se dice uh, centro en inglés? En inglés. Se dice centro. Lógico, vale, ¿no? Vale. Sí. Muy bien. Sí. Okay. Muy bien. Más reglas. La letra G. Uh, this is the letter G. La letra G. La segunda letra es A, O, U. Ah, los vocales. Hay cinco vocales en español. A, E, I, O, U. Repite. A, A e, e, I, O, U. Muy bien. Si es G... ¿Se so, so vowels? Vocales, vowels, exacto. Ah, Muy bien. Vocales, ok. okay. Muy bien. Ah, ok, como se dice. <laughs> sí. Repite la pregunta otra vez. Vocales. ¿Cómo? <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice...? Vocales? Sí. En inglés. En inglés. Se dice vowels. Ok, so they're the vowels. Sí. Pero vowels sí. no, ¿eh? Vowels no. Yeah. Vowels. 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 Ok, ok. Muy bien. Ok. So, G, la letra G, G, A, O, U, se pronuncia, la pronunciación es gato. Miau. <laughs> Ga gato. Gato. Gato, muy bien. Gato. Ok, la pregunta. ¿Cómo se dice gato en inglés? En inglés. Cat. Ok. Vale. Cat. Muy bien. Estupendo. Pero, ojo, la G y la letra E o I, en inglés decimos general. En español no es general, es general. Ok, so G is like a, an H, but a really... If it's followed general. by the letter E yeah. or the letter I, yeah. you almost choke. Okay. If you're Scottish, it's easy because you say Loch. Exactly, but yeah. a lot of people say Loch Ness monster, but it's yeah. not. In Scotland, they say Loch Ness. Yeah. So you must say General. Repeat that. General. 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 Mm -hmm. Sí. ¿Entiendes o no entiendes? Uh, no entiendo. No entiendes. Eres un idiota. <laughs> sí, entiendo. Sí, entiendo. Sí. I understand. Sí, I understand. Okay. ok. No entiendo, I don't understand. I don't understand. Ok. okay. No. Vale. Ok. Um, segunda, segunda regla de pronunciación. La letra H. H. La letra H en inglés es? Uh, H. H. Muy bien. Ok. Sí. Pero no se pronuncia. Por eso dices, hola, señor. Ok. Hola, hola, señor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So it's, it's silent. Silent. No se pronuncia. Hola. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ok. Y hamburguesa. Hamburguesa. Oh, oh, oh. No tienes hamburguesa. Sí, sí señor. Ensalada, sí. Melones. Melones también, sí. Pero no tienes hamburguesa. Ok. Hamburguesa. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? No, ¿Cómo dis... se di dice? <laughs> Perdón, señor. No pasa nada. ¿Cómo se dice hamburguesa? Hamburguesa. 
Hamburguesa en inglés. En inglés. Se dice hamburger. Ah, vale. Sí. O gracias. Oh, gra gracias. Gracias, señor. Gracias. gracias. La letra R. Para terminar, terminamos las reglas de pronunciación. Hay muchas, pero la letra R es importante. Ok, por ejemplo, esta... Uy. Está roto. Disculpa. Okay. Sorry, discu D disculpa. Disculpa. Yeah. Ah, hablas portugués. Uh, ah, ah, sí, sí. Uh, no, no. ¿No hablas portugués? No. ¿Cómo se dice? I don't speak Portuguese. Oh. No, um, oh, uh, no hablo. Perfecto. Hablo con O. No yeah. hablo. No hablo. Ha yeah, portugués. Uh -huh. No hablo portugués. No hablo portugués. Pero hablas español. Pero habla. No, hablo español. Perfecto. Muy bien. Estupendo. Bien. Ok. Disculpa en inglés. ¿Cómo se, di cómo se dice disculpa? Disculpa, no. Disculpa. Disculpa sí. en inglés. En inglés. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Sí, gracias. De nada. Ok. Esta es pan, pero es una barra. No una barra. Barra. Una barra. Una barra. Barra. Una barra. Muy bien. So you're rolling your turn. Exactly. So okay. if you say Robbie Burns, it's not Robbie, it's Robbie, because that's how the Scots say Yeah, it. yeah. Ok. Robbie Burns. Ok, ok. Pero es, es difícil. Ok. Muy bien. Ah, el futbolista. Hay un futbolista muy famoso. Raúl. Raúl. <laughs> Mucha R, Kira, pero, pero no pasa nada, no importa. Raúl, 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 muy bien. Sí, okay, sí, estupendo. Gracias. Ok, vamos a... ¿Te, te gusta o, otra cosa? Tenemos más cosas aquí. Ah, sí. Esto es zumo de naranja, zumo de naranja. Zumo de naranja. Ok, zumo, muy bien, zumo en eh, juice. Pero no es una C. La primera letra de zumo en español, la primera letra voy. Espera. So this is orange juice, pure orange, yeah? Yep. Ok, sí. Pero esto es, esta palabra no existe. Ok. Zumo. Y la letra no es una C, es una Z. Z. La letra C. Zumo. 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 De naranja. De naranja. 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 Muy bien. Um, and that double L is like a Y sound? Like I a... am not a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. So you must million. say Y. And yes, I'm a million. Yeah, okay, okay. So, um, pa paella? Pa paella. Paella. Sí, no paella. Eso es inglés. Eh? <laughs> paella. Pa paella. No, no. Paella. It's a really good idea to split things up into syllables. Okay. So you go si, pa, el, uno, dos, tres. Pa, el, yas. Pa, el, yas. Okay, okay. si. Sí. ¿Te, ¿Te gusta la paella? Uh, si, sí, me gusta mucho sí. um, la paella. La paella, muy bien, perfecto. Could you ask me the question? No, that's difficult. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, señor, uh, ¿comes ensalada? Sí, como ensalada. Mm, yeah. Okay. Now, uh, so you're almost just, it's almost to do with the pronunciation, the asking the question. It so is. it's not changing it a lot, it's just, no, it's yeah. Because how do we it. ask a question that needs a yes or a no answer? We put the great big word, do it. Yeah. Do you eat? Salad. Yeah. The Spanish don't. They change the intonation of their voice. Yeah. So instead of saying comes ensalada, which means you eat salad, I'm telling you, you eat salad. They say comes ensalada. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you eat salad, basically. You feel an idiot because yeah. you say, do I eat salad? <laughs> But that's how they ask the question. If they want a yes or no answer. Okay. okay.
¿Cómo, cómo te llamas? Uh, ¿Cómo te llamas? Uh, ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo sí. Kieran. Kieran, muy bien. Sí. Hablas español. Me llamo Kieran. Me llamo Don Pablo. Yo, uh, so, me my, my name, mm -hmm. me llamo, sí. uh, is Kieran. Mm -hmm. Me llamo Kieran. Uh, ¿cómo, te, uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Because I don't know you. you yeah, yeah, I don't know you, Don Pedro, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. So, Pe Pedro, no. <laughs> Pablo. <laughs> oh, pa Pablo, Pablo, sorry. Okay. So, um, ¿cómo se llama? Mm -hmm. Because you change the ending because yep. I'm talking about you rather yep. than me, which is an O. Yep. Yeah, so yep. it's now an A. Yep. And you're older and stuff, so it's, yep. it, yeah. That's right. Right, so, okay. Maybe. So ask me again. Uh, ¿Cómo se llama? Me llamo Don Pablo. Don Pablo. No sí. Pablo. Don Pablo. <laughs> Soy <laughs> profesor. <laughs> Soy <laughs> muy importante. <laughs> you're very important. Soy muy Don, important. Don Pablo. Okay, yep. and so I have so many years, tangled, and then the number, yep. and yours. Yep. Perfect. Tengo 63 años. No. 73, no. no. 63 años. Sí. 63, señor. Casi oh, 64. I don't believe that. Crazy, hombre. No way. That's not possible. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Yeah. <laughs> Come to speak about brothers and sisters. How how do I do that? Because obviously I'd like to say that I've got a, a brother and such like. Right. So un hermano is a brother and una hermana is a sister. So hermano changes to hermana from brother to sister. Okay. So how how would I ask like um, how do I ask? Have you got any brothers or sisters? Tienes. You could use tienes. Do you have friends? Do you have brothers and sisters? Do you I have don't... enemies? <laughs> tienes. So tienes. So, tienes hermanos y hermanas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could say that. You could, yeah. Yeah. So I'll tell you. Tengo un hermano. Okay. Y tengo tres hermanas. So you have one brother and three sisters. Correct. Muy bien. Okay, that's great. Right. Perfect. Oh, well, thank you, señor. So if if we're talking about pets, then so is it a similar principle to brothers same, and sisters? Same thing. Yeah. yeah. But you don't need to say the word any. So you would just say tienes, and then the word. So you would say tienes animales. And it's as simple as that, animales. Yeah. Because yeah. in French it can be a la maison, can't it? Like in yeah. in the house. Yeah. 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 You could say animales domésticos, but tienes tienes animales. Okay, tienes animales. And then if I said uh, yes, I have a cat. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say, si, sí, uh, tengo un gato. Mm -hmm. And if she's a girl, it's una gata. Uh, Kieran, una pregunta, por favor. ¿Dónde vives? Yo vivo en Gloucester. ¿Dónde vives? Uh, vivo. Muy bien. Uh, en Gloucester. En Gloucester. Uh, Gloucester. Sí. Está en el suroeste sí. de Inglaterra. De. 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 Perdón, señor. No pasa nada. <laughs> okay, Kieran, describe tu aspecto físico. So you're you're asking me almost to describe my physical appearance, okay. yeah? What do you look like? Tu uh, aspecto físico. Vale. Um, tengo uh, los ojos ah. azules. Los ojos azules. Mm -hmm. Los blue eyes. Perfecto. Um, ah. ¿Y el pelo? Uh, ah. Uh, ten... No tengo pelo. Tengo <laughs> <laughs> poco pelo. You yeah, have a little bit of hair. Uh, tengo pelo... El pelo. Eh, tengo el pelo um, marrón. Marrón. Muy bien. Muy bien. Ok. Um, no, not okay. red. Not red. No, no, no. No, no. Okay. No, uh, no rojo. ¿Cómo se dice marrón en inglés? Uh, so you're asking me what is uh, marrón. marrón in English. Uh, brown? Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Muy bien. Um, señor, uh, ¿cómo, uh, ¿cómo se dice um, blonde en español? 
¿Cómo se dice blonda en español? Rubio. 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 It's just those R's. Okay. It's the R's. Yeah. You've got to roll your R's. Okay, so that's hair colour and eye colour. Yep. Um, how about um, uh, I am? So, we? Is it? Could I say uh, No, no, no. No, that's uh, Tengo, sorry. Tengo uh, muy gordo, is it? Soy. Soy gordo. Soy muy gordo. Soy, soy muy, muy gordo. Ah, uh, sí, sí. That, that's me. Oh, okay. Yo soy flaco. So, so, right, tall. No, no, alto es tall. Alto. Flaco is thin. Okay. Soy flaco. Right, okay, so, um, gordo is fat? Gordo is fat. Yeah. Okay. So, soy. Mm -hmm. Soy uh, alto. Mm -hmm. Sí. Alto. Uh, sí. Uh, y gordo. Y gordo. <laughs> bastante gordo <laughs> o muy gordo. Bastante. Uh, ba bastante. 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 Um, uh, ¿Cómo se dice bastante en inglés? Uh, a little. Uh, fairly. Fairly. Fairly, fairly fat. Yeah. Un, un poco. Fairly fat. Fat. Un poco. Oh, yeah. Poco, poco. Soy un poco gordo. Y señor. Um, I want to say, how about you? How do you describe yourself? How, how, right, yeah, okay. Como se dice... Um, and you. And you, in Espanol. Muy importante, que yeah. buena pregunta, a really good question. ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? Okay. No. ¿Y tú no? ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? It's a question, here because if you say ¿Y tú? It's... And you. Yeah. I suppose I've got to ask you how you are, then. Yeah. It's not. Sound interesting. Raise your voice. <laughs> And yeah. you, what about you? Yeah, it all. Perfect. And how about, um, is that the same sort of like whether you're asking a young kid or an older person, same? If it was a much older person, somebody like a grandfather's age or grandmother, you, you, or a person you hadn't met before that was a bit older, you'd say, you step. You step. You step, yeah. Okay. And really, because you and I have never met before, you should have said to me, not como se llama, when you asked me my name, como se llama. You should have said, como se llama usted? Okay. Como se llama usted? Okay, como se llama usted? Okay. But me talking to you, because you're just an ordinary student, yeah. I'd say to you, como te llamas? Okay. Vale. Well, if you're talking to someone of your own age, okay. you'd say, como te llamas? Si, sí, señor. Um, okay. So, ¿y tú? You do. Um, what question were you asking? Uh, uh, your appearance. Yeah. My appearance. Um, bueno, soy soy alto. Mm -hmm. Soy sí. altísimo. Mm -hmm. uh, soy sí. flaco. Mm -hmm. sí. Tengo el pelo. <laughs> este sombrero. Tengo el pelo marrón y los ojos mm, verdes. Okay, green. Is that sí, green? Yeah. Ah, hablas portugués. Uh, ah, ah, sí, sí, sí. sí. Uh, no, no. No hablas portugués. No. ¿Cómo se dice? I don't speak Portuguese. Oh. No, um. Oh, uh, no, hablo. Perfecto. Hablo con o. No yeah. hablo. No hablo. Yeah, portugués. <laughs> no hablo portugués. No hablo portugués. Pero hablas español. Pero habla. No, hablo español. Perfecto, muy bien. Ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice hat en español? Ah, ok. Si sí, tienes sí, un sí, problema. Sí, okay. sí. Ok, bien. Cualquier cosa, repite. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Cómo se dice? Uh -huh. Hat. Hat en español. Muy bien, repite. ¿Cómo se dice hat en español? Uh -huh. Se dice sombrero. Se dice sombrero. Tienes un acento muy bueno, Kieran, ¿sabes? Ah, muy bien. ¿Cómo se dice en inglés? Por ejemplo, ¿cómo se dice... Eh, ¿Aceitunas? ¿Aceitunas? Muy bien, muchas gracias. Ok. Olives. Olives. Qué bien, ok. Repite. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se dice aceitunas? aceitunas? 
En inglés. En inglés. Se dice olives. Se dice olives. Olives, muy bien. ¿Entiendes esto? ¿Cómo se escribe? Ah, sí, señor. Uh, ¿Cómo se escribe? How do you write? How do you write? Muy bien. Like, like scribe. ¿Cómo se escribe? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you ask me, how do you write naranja in English? Now, that's, that's difficult. I'll okay. Try. ¿Cómo se escribe zumo? Bueno, sumo. Ok. Just naranja. Ok, ok, ok. Uh, ¿Cómo se escribe naranja uh, en inglés? En inglés, muy bien. Y si tienes un problema total de incomprensión, dices, no entiendo. I don't Pero understand. I don't understand. Sí. No, no entiendo. No entiendo, muy bien. Sí, ok, sí. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, me llamo Paul, vivo en Gloucester, tengo, no sé, 63 años, y tú dices, por favor, más despacio, por favor, más despacio. Slow down. Sí, pero sí, qué, sí, qué sí. bien, sí, sí. Qué buena comprensión tienes. Ok, ok. Repite. Más. Despacio, por favor. Despacio, no. Escucha, eh. Despacio. Ah, más despacio, por favor. Muy bien, estupendo. Okay. Not really. It's straight on, or it's to the right. Just something like um, it's here, it's there. Um, so say if we've got an, I don't know, like um, agua. Perfect. Yeah. Una botella de agua. Yeah. Está aquí. Está aquí. It is here. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Está allí. It is there. Yep. So simple as that. Aquí. Yeah. Allí. And if I was asking where is, is that just? Uh, can I have a go at this? Okay. Uh, Donde está um, el, uh, el agua? El agua. Muy bien. Está allí. Oh, I love it. I love it. That's nice and easy, isn't it? And the nice thing is you don't have to raise your voice with donde está el agua. Yeah. Because you're using the word where, so it's obvious it's a question. Where is the water? Yeah. As opposed to, have you got brothers and sisters? Yeah. Tienes hermano? Brilliant. I'm happy with that. I All think, right. senor. Great stuff. I like Great. that. Now, senor, I like my food, as you can probably tell. Uh -huh. um, so. If I'm talking about um, eating and, and drinking, it, um, so I eat, mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know, what have we got? Yeah. Um, yeah, you've got como, so, God, that was an effort. So, one of these, mm -hmm. so como manzanas, mm -hmm. so I eat apples. I eat apples, yeah. And I don't need anything in front of manzanas. No, no, no. no. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Okay, okay. so. Just add an S. And what you like to eat, so... Um, oh, that's more complicated. Yeah. Que te gusta comer? Te gusta comer. Uh, me gusta com comer. Mm -hmm. um, manzanas. Manzanas. Mm -hmm. Me gusta comer manzanas. Okay, and to drink? You just change comer to beber. And it's the same principle. Yep. So, I drink bebo. Mm -hmm. um, bebo um, agua. Agua, yeah. Uh, sin gas. Mm -hmm. So I like still water. Still water. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Con y sin. Un momento. Ah, yeah. ah, señor. Agua. Mineral. Sí. Okay. So, uh, mineral water. Sí. Yeah. Muy bien. Estupendo. Yeah. Um, con gas o sin gas. Ah. Esto es sin gas. So that's still? Still. Uh -huh. si, sin gas? Sin gas. Okay. Con gas is el contrario. Yeah, con gas, with gas. Okay, so moving on then to what I'd like to, if I was in a cafe, yeah. so when we go to Costa Senor, for instance, like yeah. we do occasionally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I wanted to order something, mm. so how, how do I say, like, I would like? Do you want to say I would like or I want? Oh, now I would like is probably more polite. 
Is probably it? more polite, but the Spanish don't tend to use... They're like, a bit rude, right. are they? Yeah. Well, they're not rude, no. but we would find them rude. We <laughs> use please and thank you, yeah. and I would like so much. But yeah. normally they would just say I want, which is quiero. Quiero. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, quiero un, un café con leche. Un café con leche. Café con leche. As you said, café. Yeah. Un café. Yeah. Un café con leche. So, uh, coffee with milk. Yep. Yeah. So that's what we might have at the coffee shop. Yeah, buy coffee. Um, and then we could do the same with agua and yeah. food and all the rest of it. So it's very simple, mm -hmm. quiero. And if I was to ask, what would you like? Mm -hmm. Can I have a go at it? Yep. Yeah. Um, is it que quieres? Mm -hmm. So what would you like? Yeah. Okay. Literally what you want, but yeah. que quieres. Okay, what do you want? Mm -hmm. Okay. Juegas al tenis. Como se dice, I play tennis. Juego al tenis. Juego al tenis. Muy bien, juego al tenis. Um, se señor, um, al o el tenis? Al tenis. Al tenis. ¿Qué? Okay. Es difícil, pero al tenis. Okay. I play at the tennis. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Instead of the, so el o la is the? El o la is the. So, actually, you're right. Yes, yeah. I play at the tennis. Okay, al tennis. Al tennis. Okay. The football is the same. Juegas al football. Si, juego al football. Perfecto, muy bien. Okay. Um, cantas. No, no, no. Cantas? <laughs> si or no? No, no, no canto. Likes and dislikes. Yeah. So, um, we've established I like was me gusta, mm -hmm. yeah, um, and I don't like no me gusta. Just simple as that, no me gusta. That little word in front is that's all you need. Yep. So if, it, if you don't like it at all, just put nada on the end. So you say no me gusta nada. Okay. They like gestures. Yeah, yeah. Gestures, gestos. Right. Okay. <laughs> gestos. <laughs> so uh, me, no me gusta nada. Me gusta um, manzanas. Mm -hmm. Me gusta. Ah, it's tricky because, because it's more than one. It's more than one, yeah. So, me gustan manzanas. With that type of verb, if you want to say quiero manzanas, yeah. you ain't going to change it, Kieran. But if you want to say, I like apples, as yeah. opposed to, I want apples, yeah. you're going to have to change gusta to gustan. Okay, cool. It's complicado. Yeah. Me gustan manzanas. Okay. Repeat that. Me gustan manzanas. Okay. Um, pero, uh, no me gusta. Um, uh, platanos, is it? Platanos. Los platanos. Los platanos. So, I like apples, but I don't like bananas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Probably better to say... It's, no. not, it's not true, I do like bananas, <laughs> but just theoretically. Right. <clears throat> Probably better to say, no me gustan las manzanas. Sorry. Me gustan las manzanas, no me gustan los platanos. Okay, again, it's that feminine, masculine, feminine. It's the masculine, feminine, but yeah. It's complicated because you need to put... Yeah. The apples. Yeah. I don't like the apples. Okay, that's brilliant. La comida. La comida. Ah, la comida. Ah. Dejamos esto. Te gusta? Te gusta el pan? Uh, red? Sí, perfecto. <laughs> <laughs> Qué uh, inteligente. Sí. Me gusta uh, el pan? El pan, perfecto, muy bien. Es un pan especial en español. Se llama barra, una barra. ¿Te gusta las barras? Uh, me gusta las barras. Las barras. ¿Te gustan mucho las barras o te gusta las barras? Uh, mucho. 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 Muy mucho. bien. Hablas muy bien. Ok. Eh, de... Vamos a ver. En ah. cuanto al fútbol. ¿Te gusta? Un momento. Te gusta el fútbol? Te gusta. El no, no, no. Perdón. Me gusta el fútbol. Te gusta el ah, fútbol? Sí, uh, me gusta el fútbol. Perfecto, muy bien. Ok, otro deporte. Y el tenis. Ah, sí. sí. Te, ¿Te gusta el tenis? Uh, te gusta. No, no, no. Uh, Idiota. <laughs> me gusta. Okay. ¿Te gusta el sí, tenis? Sí, sí. Uh, me gusta mucho el tenis. Me gusta mucho el tenis, perfecto. Sí. 
preferences. Yeah. So I suppose we've sort of covered that, but without the word of I prefer. Mm -hmm. um, you, so You don't like that, do you? It's hard. It is hard, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So, um, prefiero. Think of it as four syllables. Yeah. Prefiero. Prefiero. Pre. Fie. Ro. Pre. Pre. Fi. E. Ro. Pre. Fi. E. Ro. Pre. Fiero. Pre. Fiero. Yeah. Okay. So, okay then. Um, me gustan uh, las manzanas. Perfecto. Um, pero. Mm -hmm. Prefiero. Um, los plátanos. Muy bien. Okay. So, so, so okay, yeah, have I like these. Yeah. But I prefer those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And if you wanted to say, what do you prefer? Is that just simply again, uh, que prefieres? Muy bien. You can ask the question, but then you can give the answer. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> que prefieres? Yeah. yeah. Que prefieres? Okay. It's very logical, isn't it, really, Samuel? Yeah. Like, when you think about it, it's yeah. taking me a bit of time, but yeah. it is quite yeah. logical. It's coming back. Yeah. That's good. That's good, okay. Mm -hmm. um, so just one more, maybe... Um, me gusta uh, el tenis. El tenis, yeah. Pero um, prefiero um, el football. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So I like the tennis. But I prefer the football. Yeah. Well, we say the thing is in English we say I like tennis, but I prefer football. Yeah. But in Spanish, if you talk, it's only in general, you put the word there in front of it. There's no point translating as I like the tennis. Yeah. I don't like yeah. Tennis. Yeah. It's just I like tennis. I like tennis. Yeah. Yeah. But they do say prefiero the tennis. Brilliant. So, numbers then, yeah. one to ten? Yeah. But if you're counting, you just yeah. go uno. As I said before, you shorten it if it's un platano, but you yeah. shorten it to a. Yeah. So it goes uno, yeah. dos, tres, yeah. cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, siete ocho, nueve, nueve diez. diez. Okay, so that's one to ten. Yep. And then above that, I can't, let me think. Was it on three? Yep. So 11 is once, 12, um, 13, 13, not yeah. French. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Tre, um, 13, 14, Perfecto. 15. Sí. Uh, now you go back to 10 and 6. Uh, 16, sí. 17, 18, 19, and. Uh, 20? 20. Yeah. 20. And the V, it, it's a V, isn't it? 20. Uh, but it's pronounced as a B. Almost. 20 pronounced like a B, yeah. 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 So, uh, 20. 20. Yeah. And then, so I presume it's similar again working 21 up, but um, 21. 21. Yeah. So it's like 20 plus 1. 20 and, and 1. And yeah. 1. Yeah. So yeah. E, like a Y, yeah. correct? Yeah. If you, if you put in plus, you say, no, no. That's veinte más. Actually, I'm doing multiplication now. Veinte <laughs> más tres son sesenta. So that's taking it a stage up. That's twenty times three is sixty. Right. Okay. Yeah. So and then it's the same. So all the yeah. way up to thirty. Yeah. So the word for thirty. Uh, treinta. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. Um, and then forty cuarenta. Sí. Um, then fifty. 50. Um, now, let me have a go. It's not uh, 60. It is. Yeah, 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 so 60, 60. Um, one, one letter difference for 70. It's, uh, yes, 70. Well then, 60, 60, 70, 70. Okay. And 80. Mm -hmm. uh, 90. 90. And, oh, what is 170? C M C M yeah. C with a C with a C yeah. C I E N yep got it okay brilliant so that's almost so if I was 
Let's try it. So if you give me a number, like, let's just see if I can do it, shall we? Like, so just pick out a number. All right. So I just call, Como se dice 26 en español? Right. Uh, 26. Perfecto. Okay. Como se dice 42 en español? Uh, 42. 42. E dos. E dos. Yeah, yeah. put the e in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's that's always the same. So 40 and say nine, it would be as well. Yeah. It's really easy. From 20 up, it's easy. Yeah. Brilliant. 20 to So when we put numbers into time, yeah. So. Like, if I wanted to tell the time, um, what time is it? How, how would I say that? Uh, que hora es? Que hora es? See, that's quite similar, isn't it, really? Because of hora, hour. Yeah. So okay. what hour is it, yeah. really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but when you give the answer, the only time you're going to use es in the answer is when it's around one o'clock. After that, because two and three and four are multiples, yeah. you change s to son. So if you want to say, it's two o'clock, you'll say son, son las dos. dos. Mm -hmm. It's okay. feminine again, because our, que hora es, is also feminine. Son las dos. Son las dos, son las tres. Son las cuatro. Son las... Uh, cinco. Cinco, right. Yeah. But okay. when you switch back to one o'clock, you go yeah. back to es la una. Es la una. Es la una. Es la una. So it's only that, that time. Yeah. Right, okay. And then... And uh, say two thirty. Mm -hmm. um, can I ever go? Yeah, obviously the time, the hour first of all, and then yeah. minutes after. Son las dos y media. Y media. Okay, yeah. so two thirty. Actually, that's half past two. If you if you want oh, right. to go, okay. yeah, if yeah. you want to go with yeah. two thirty, you're gonna have to say son las dos y treinta. treinta. Yeah. Well done. Okay, so yeah. half or yeah. yeah. How about quarter past? And let's go for quarter past three, Senor. Do you want to make it 3.15 or quarter past three? Right, let's go for quarter past three. Quarter past three. Yeah. So, so you'll say son las tres y cuarto. Son las tres y cuarto. No, no. No. Cuarto. Cuarto. Yeah, it's so close to four. Yeah. But it's not cuatro, it's cuarto. The R comes before the T. Okay. Try it again. Cuarto. 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 Okay. So cuarto, to make it complicated, is also word for a room. Okay. A room. Yeah. Uh, bathroom, quarto de baño. Same spelling, is it? Yeah, exactly the same spelling. Yeah. Quarto de baño. Yeah. That could be confusing, couldn't it? Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Okay, so that's quarter past. Yep. How about quarter two? Uh, instead of saying E, should we go four o'clock? So quarter to four? Quarter to four. Yeah. You make it complicated. Yeah, yeah. Got four and quarter. Yeah, right? yeah. Anyway, Why not, senor? I know you're up to the right. tap. Yeah. You're going to change E to the word menos. Okay. And that's very logical because menos comes from the word minus. So you're taking a quarter from. So I would from. say um, son las cuatro mm -hmm. menos, menos. Cua cuarto. 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 Yeah. 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 So four o'clock minus 15 or minus quarter. Yeah. Minus yeah. Quarter. Brilliant. Okay. I'm with you, senor, I think. Right. So you could say, could you say minus 15 as well, or would you just say, you'd always say... No, you'd say son las tres y cuarenta y cinco. Yeah, okay. So it's easy to say quarter yeah. to menos. Right. Yeah. Try and do five to nine. Oh. But remember, you, you're going for the hour first of all. Yeah. Five to nine. Right, okay. Five. Right. Five to nine. Son, son las nueve, uh -huh. menos, menos, cinco. cinco. Un aplauso. Ah, oh, gracias, señor. I think I can remember some of the days. Okay. Shall I have a go? Yeah. yeah. Just remember um, Monday to Friday ends in S. Not because it's plural, it just yeah. ends in S. So it's Monday, lunes. Lunes. Um, martes, martes, miércoles, miércoles, jueves, jueves, uh, oh. viernes, viernes, me gusta el viernes. <laughs> you like Fridays because it's the week Fridays. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I should say me gustan los viernes. Yeah, but once again, it's yeah, it's all Fridays. Me gustan los viernes. Okay, uh, and try Saturday. Uh, el sábado, sábado, mm -hmm. um, and Sunday el domingo, domingo. 
Okay. Yeah. So, um, so if I wanted to say, I don't know, on um, on Monday I let's say play tennis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, just remember, don't put anything. Don't use the preposition on. They just say the Monday. So yeah. Um, don't sit and squash Monday. Just say. We say on Monday, like you're sitting on it. It's not um, El, it's just, it is, El, El Lunes. Absolutely, yeah. yeah El Lunes, Juego uh -huh. um, al Tennis. Perfecto. Okay. okay, so on Monday I play tennis. Yep. Um, and then um, El Jueves. Mm -hmm. um, Tell me you don't play something. Oh, so easy. So complicated in English, we don't. I yeah, don't, but in Spanish, no, no juego. Absolutely. Yeah, just, just put the no, no juego al football. No juego al football. So yeah, the weather. Yeah. So it's sunny. Hace sol. Hace sol. Now, I know you're you're going to want to say es sol, but they don't say it is. It's like, in French, what the weather is doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, so, yeah. so in French, uh, il fait, isn't it? Yeah. The word, uh, fair is the verb yeah. to do. Yeah. So with this, a faire is the verb to a do. A faire is the infinitive, to do. Yeah. To make. Yeah. So just say assez. Just drop the R. Okay. A, a fait. So. So. Yeah. so. Very simple. Yep. Yeah. Just the word after. Okay. So it is sunny. Right. What about this? Um, hace frío. Hace frío, muy bien. It is cold. Uh -huh. What about this one? Oh, God. Uh, oh, I know this, señor. I know this. Hace calor. Calor, muy bien. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Right, okay. So, um, how about it's raining? No, you won't use hace with that one just to complicate things. It's just one word. Uh, llueve. Uh, right. Llueve. 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 Yeah. Llueve. Yeah. Okay, and um, I think uh, snow. Was it no, noviendo or something? Mm, no, it's uh, well, nevando is snowing, but, but nieva is, is, is. Nieva. Nieva is, is the word. So, yeah. es no, no. No, just put just nieva. Just think of nieva. rain and snow. Yeah. Uh, it's just uh, llueve or nieva. Brilliant. Okay. Is that all the weather we need, Senor, really? Uh, sunny, sunny, raining, snowy. Uh, yeah, and yeah it's oh, windy. windy as well. Windy? Um, no idea. Think of a vent on a window. Viento. Hace viento. Hace viento. Hace viento. Okay. Is it a V or a B? It's, it's got to be a V, isn't it? Yeah, if you think yeah. of vent. Yeah, yeah it's got to be. Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah. Right, that's brilliant. That's What what standard colours? Oh well, my favourite team, Senor Liverpool. Liverpool, yeah. So they play in red. So mm -hmm. what is red? Rojo. Ah, you should be asking me in Spanish. Oh, sorry, uh, Senor. Um, Como se dice uh, red en español? Mm -hmm. Rojo. 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 Mm -hmm. Like the Manchester United footballer. Ro yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe Argentinian. Argentinian. Yeah. In Argentina, rojo. Mm -hmm. Marcos, rojo. And is that the same Mark, for, say, Mark, red. say, red wine or something? Like, uh, it, no, it's vino tinto. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Okay. White is okay, though. Oh, uh, white is blanco? Blanco. And they say vino blanco. Vino blanco. Okay. 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 Brilliant. So white, red. Now, black, obviously, we, we might need. Negro. Yeah. Negro? Yeah. Okay. And say black and white? Negro um, y... Blanco. Well, except they always do it the other way around and they say. Blank or y negro. Black, they always say white and black. Yeah. I've never thought of that before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blanco y negro. Yeah. Um, black, white, red. Um, uh, bananas are yellow. Mm -hmm. So. Um, do you know the way to. Amarillo. 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 Yeah. yeah. And it's, that's good pronunciation because we always say yeah. amarillo. Yeah. Amarillo. Amarillo, amarillo. amarillo is yellow. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, Green, verde, verde, mm -hmm. verde. Okay. V or a B? Uh, v. v. Yeah. Okay. And uh, say, 
uh, green eyes, los ojos ver verdes, because Verde, yeah. it's two eyes. Mm -hmm. Ok, mm. para terminar, bueno, te dejo la letra. Yo, yo sí canto. You're going to sing? I'm going to sing. I do sing. Ok. Even, even if you don't. Right, I ok. Do sing. So, right. so what, what is this exactly? And this is a song specially arranged for El Día de San Valentín, el 14 de febrero. El 14 de febrero es hoy. Hoy sounds like hoy you, but it's not. It's a little weird yeah. meaning today. 14 de febrero. Es el día de San Valentín de los enamorados. Right, okay, so uh, it's a song for Valentine's Day. It's a song for Valentine's Day, but everybody sings it in Spain, especially the covers. Even even when it's not Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, oh yeah, right. yeah. Okay. A lot of people get together. This is what we're saying. This is the chorus of it. It's called clavelitos. Right. Clavelitos okay. is the word for carnation. All right. Okay. So it goes. Let's see if I can do it without remembering the words. Okay. Clavelitos, clavelitos, clavelitos de mi corazón. Hoy te traigo clavelitos. Cobrados igual que un tresón. Si algún día clavelitos no lograra poderte traer, no te creas que ya no te quiero, es que no te los pude coger. Una pausa. That's very good. Una That's very good. Oh, yes. Yeah. Hey, gracias, señor. <laughs> Estupendo. Ha sido un placer. ¿Quieren? Adiós. Adiós, gracias, señor. Y continúa con el español. Sí. Uh,